Uh, it's been devastating uh, for our friends, for our families, uh, for our business. Uh, things have been very humbling at the same time. Uh, we're learning to kind of live, you know, with less and find the value in friendship, kindness, gratitude and family. To see the places where I grew up just kind of demolished um, from beaches to businesses, it's definitely going to take a long time to be able to recover from something like this. One of the things that I've been doing these past couple of days, I've been helping all my friends, I've been calling them, you know, what do you need? Uh, what can I help you with, you know? I can make at least their lives a little better. Um, you know, my house is okay, but other people need help, so whatever I can do, it's it goes a long way. Words almost can't describe it. It's, um, I've, I've been kind of all over the city assisting and helping out. It's quickly turning into a situation that m most of us never dreamed that we'd be in. Fulfillment and production will be, you know, obviously delayed for a while. Um, our business seems okay at this point. Uh, a lot of cleanup, a lot of debris. Uh, all of our families, um, for, you know, all of our workers' families are all safe. Um, and sound so everyone is accounted for and we are working diligently today uh, and through this week to get everything operational so we can start fulfilling these orders again and, and getting them out to our Bones family. We're so thankful for everybody in the community and everybody coming in from out of state to help us as soon as we can get back on our feet the sooner we can start helping you know whether it's driving around and delivering some coffee or donating coffee to first responders the small things like that in times like these can make the largest difference please be patient and work with us uh, we're working around the clock to get back up and running but we do have priorities as well uh, meaning our staff our family our friends our homes uh, much of which has been completely destroyed. Families are being displaced, but please bear with us while we try to put ourselves back together.